Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to debug a basic hello world program written in the assembly language in the GNU debugger or GDB. I will use the same setup and code from the previous video on this channel, which I will link in the description below. So let's dive in. All right, so here we are in the Kali Linux and I'm in the same folder as last time on the desktop assembly hello world. I'm going to open the code in a separate window so we can have it on the site. While we are using GDB to, to debug the code. So we will launch GDB and open the hello world x86 version. This is the user interface for GDB. It's a text based debugger. We will put a breakpoint on the start, which is the beginning of the code. And then we can run the code by using the run command. Next, we can look at the disassembly of the code. Here we can see that the format of the disassembly is not the same as our code because GDB by default this is disassembles the code and shows us in the AT&T flavor while our code is in the Intel flavor. In order to see the code in GDB in the Intel flavor, we have to set the disassembly flavor. So we can do that right now. Set disassembly flavor to Intel. And then if we disassemble the code, we will see it as a, in the same format as what our code is. We can see the details of the code. Of special interest is this line where we have move ECX 0804 a and over here we have move ECX the message. So most probably this is the pointer to our message and we can look at it by using the examine command. So examine command starts with X and then we provide the format of the string in which we want to get the get the details. So we put S for string and then we put the address here. And we can see the hello world along with the backslash N, which is the new line character here. If you want to step in the code, we can use the step I command, which will move the EIP to the next line. And we can look at the registers as well by looking at by using the command info registers. So here we can see EAX, which has been set to 0x4. Now we will do another step I and we can look at the registers again. So we see now that EBX has been set to 0x1, which is the second line here. We can try this one more time and look at the registers again. We will see that ECX has been set with 0804800. Now this is a bit more cumbersome, right? We run another line and then we look at the registers. So we want to look at it in a proper manner like any other debugger, like Visual Studio or like we have for Python, which is like PyCharm or something. What we can do is that we can define hook stops in GDB and we can use the GDB init file to define those hook stops. I will show you a GDB init file which I use for my debugging purposes, which is currently hosted on my GitHub, which I will link in the description below as well. I have copied the details of my GitHub repo in the commands.txt. So this is location. Let me open it in a browser. And this is the configuration file. This is the configuration file which has been copied a long time ago from another location which is here. This as well. And I think this file has been copied from reverseengineering.net. I looked over the file. I did not find any security issues or security problem. After I did that, I also made some changes in, in this file as well. So first thing was that 
the default file was picking everything as 64 bit and most of the debugging that I'm doing these days is in 34, 32 bit actually. So I've set this 64 bit as zero. Another thing that I've done here is that I've enabled the show stack, which will show the stack to me. As you can see, the default is set to zero. And I've also set the context size score to 12 as well. So let us get the files first on the game. Git clone, as you can see, I think I've done this before as well. I can do that again. Going into the config files, let's examine the install.sh and use the same command to install our gdb init file as well. All right, so that is done. Let's go again to our desktop and to our hello world. After that, let's run gdb again for our x86 based hello world and put a breakpoint on start and run. And you can see that now we have some more contextual details about the state of the program. We can see where the execution is stopped right now. We can see the general registers as well. We can see the, the special registers here. This is the zero flag, the carry flag, and we can, we can see the segment registers here as well. This is very important. I like the fact that the stack is being displayed here. Uh, when I initially started working on assembly, it was sort of difficult to, to get my head around the fact that the stack grows from higher memory to lower memory and I can show this to you as well. Uh, it's very, very easy. So we can make some basic changes in this file, which will not have any impact on the functionality of the code and which will help us see how the stack works. And then pop E in X. We will compile this code and this should help us see how the stack operates and can be visualized using our GDB configuration as well. Let's compile the code. And we can run the code as well. As you can see, no difference. Hello world printed, exit code is two. We'll see the difference once we quit GDB and start again. Let's just clear the screen, put our breakpoint on, start and run. Now you can see that these push, com push, push and pop commands have been added. Let's start running the code one line at a time. After this call is executed, we will see hello world getting printed. So we can see hello world here. And now keep an eye on the ESP. So ESP is now 4FSD1 F0. As we push the value here, we will see the values getting populated here and the ESP should decrease. So you can see now it has become D1EC and the 1111 has been populated here. We can run it again. It should decrease again. We can see it's 1E8 and then when we pop the value into EAX, it should increase back as well. And we can now continue execution and exit this code. I think uh, right now the uh, debugging for the x86 Hello world is clear. Uh, we can now move on to the x64 base code as well. To execute um, GDB and do the debugging of the x64 code, I need to make a slight change in the GDB, file, GDB init file to, um, to help GDB show the details for um, the 64-bit uh, code as well. So I just need to set this value of set 64 bits is equal to one and control O, control X. 
the next thing that we do is we run gdb on the 64 bit code let me just increase the size of the window as well i'm expecting that the registers will be more and we'll see a bit more detail uh, we'll break again on the start and let's run the code and now we can see all the 64 bit register set as well we can see the code where it shows move ex 0x1 and move edi 0x1 and then this is the value where uh, memory is um, set into a register here this i think is the is the location of the hello world string so you can see it by this and move edx 0xd let's start debugging the code using step i step i again and we can see that rsi is set here step i again we should see the hello world getting printed which is getting printed here and then the rest of the code we can also use c to continue and um, continue to the end of the code and i think this brings us to the end of the video um, it's been quite a long video and I hope you like the video as well. Thank you very much for your time.